My name is Lou Lin. I'm um, a maker of objects, a sculptor, an artist. I'm not sure about title anymore, but all of those things. And my practice involves um, many different materials, so I'm not wedded to one material. I've, I've worked extensively in glass, and I still work in glass, but more often than not, it's combined with metal, uh, in this case, cast bronze. I'm also using some wood, and in a recent, very recent piece, there is some fiber coming in, so somewhat of mixed media approach, but very much concerned with the materiality. Well, my introduction to glass uh, uh, started in the mid to, mid to late 80s. I became interested in glass just from reading about it, and I went to study at a school in, uh, outside of Seattle called Pilchuck Glass School. Pilchuck Glass School is world renowned, and at that time there were many artists there who became sort of the the foundation of the contemporary glass movement. They were doing things with glass that I could not have imagined, and and I it made me re-examine how I looked at the material and my way of working too. You know, to, the reason I make art is it's just. I feel like I have to make art. It's just something in me I want to create. I want to uh, explore my ideas, and um, it just feels right to make art, and so it's never something that I can think of not doing. It's just there. I've, I've talked to other artists, too, and, they, and we kind of, many of us agree, it is just there, and we have to do it. That's a good question. I very much feel a part of a community. It's not necessarily just a geographic community, but I feel that the community make of makers that I'm um, a part of are, you know, all across the country. And that, that is important to me. It feeds me, you know. It's not where my work comes from. I use traditional, in, in that I use traditional techniques. For instance, if I'm casting bronze, well then casting bronze is pretty much how it's always been, so I'm using that. Some of the, uh, certainly when I'm combining materials, that is not a traditional approach to working with bronze to combine it with glass. I de very definitely um, rely on the, the technique of bronze casting, and so to, to um, convey my ideas, then I have to sort of fall back on under, having an understanding of how is this done, and then maybe adapting what how a bronze casting is done to also be able to encompass what I want to do with it. I don't think I resist it or not. It's just not something that I I embrace, you know, because bronze casting is you know, very much with the materiality of making the original, as is, my whole process is very much about material, you know, like I'm, wor I'm very immersed in my hands working with those materials, so I don't think about how, um, say, a computer would enter into at all, it's not. I, I certainly utilize computers for the business end of things. My sourcing of materials probably doesn't have anything to do, it, it doesn't have to do with where I live. My, the ideas I'm exploring, I believe, do, because I live rurally and I'm very much hands-on in um, daily life of rural life, you know. And so I'm, I'm kind of interested in what I call an, the archaeology of daily living mm -hmm. and what tools are required to complete those tasks. I don't believe for me there does. I mean, from my perspective. But I know that there are others who, who think there, there would be. So. I just want to thank, you know, I want to thank uh, the curator, Mary Beth Lavalette, and, and certainly the Italian Cultural Center, and most, of, uh, 
most, mostly the Craft Council of BC for initiating this.